What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect a Bluetooth mouse to your iPhone or iPad. This is a new feature introduced in iOS 13 and will make some games a lot more enjoyable on your device. I do believe it's going to be more useful for devices with larger screens. So right now I am using the iPhone 10. However, I'm just gonna show you guys how to connect with this device and then I'll show you guys some gameplay on the iPhone 10. 10s max having said that let's get right into it So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go into settings from settings go to accessibility From accessibility go to touch assistive touch Make sure you go ahead and turn on assistive touch by toggling it on you'll know it's on once you get this little bubble from here You don't want to scroll down just a bit and then hit pointing devices, hit Bluetooth devices, and then go to your Bluetooth mouse and make sure you go ahead and turn it on and then just wait for them to pair up. As you see there, it went ahead and showed up on the device. So we'll go ahead and click on it and then it should ask us for a password. For the magic mouse, it is preset to 0000, zero, zero, zero four zeros in a row, and then hit pair. Give it a second for it to pair up. It may take a little while, just be patient. It is a little buggy, so you might have to mess around with it a little bit, but once you get the cursor, that means you are connected. And if you go ahead and click on your mouse, you can go ahead and change what you want the left and right click to do. As you see here, the left click is for single tap, which I'll just go ahead and leave it there. And then the right click is set to open menu, which is fine with me. And then you can also go ahead and change the tracking speed if you think it's too fast or too slow. You can go ahead and change it here. As you see, I just made it slower. So we'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit more, just right there. You can go ahead and use your mouse to navigate your phone. Now I think this is gonna be the most useful, obviously when playing games such as RuneScape, which is what I'm going to show you guys right now. I am going to go ahead and switch to the iPhone XS Max so that it's easier to click on some things. I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and play RuneScape, which is my childhood favorite game. And for this game, it is so much better if you do have a mouse and keyboard. It's crazy enough to think that this game is on an iPhone already. So now to be able to have the ability to connect a mouse is pretty amazing. And if you didn't already know you can connect a wireless keyboard as well Unfortunately, I don't have a wireless keyboard right now But connecting the mouse is a new thing on iOS 13 Which is why I want to really show you guys this new feature This makes the game so much more fun and easier to play since you can navigate with your mouse now And this game is really a lot harder to play with your fingers uh, than with just a mouse But yeah, that basically sums up the video. It's very very cool I think this feature will be the most useful to the people who have iPads since they do have the bigger screens. With the bigger screen, you can do more things with the mouse, not just gaming. Having said that, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.